by Nana here. I have not conducted any public batch for a pretty long time, for almost nine months. Now I have decided to start a training on fusion inventory. So it is starting on the 24th of September. Fine, have a look at it now. So if you go and then uh, visit my website, oraclenana.com slash env. oraclenana.com slash env is my website. It will tell you that the vision inventory online training is now starting on 24th of September at 5 p.m. India. So this is a very low cost training actually. It will not teach you all the basics right from the creation of an enterprise structure. I will not teach you about how to create an enterprise structure in which you will be able to create a legal entity, the chart of accounts, the ledger, business unit, etc. at the higher end. So once when this is completed, we will be teaching you about how to create the master or child org and then the items. And then uh, you will now become an expert on the inventory on the four major areas of what inventory controls, transfers, replenishments, and then accuracy. <clears throat> right. The course fee is very less, 2,500 INR. <clears throat> so who are the audience? Fine. The consultants who are switching over from e to Fusion, they are also an audience. Functional implementers of HCM and other modules, fine. they are also the audience. Consultants from other ERPs, like Gary Edwards, SAP, PeopleSoft, etc., they can also learn anything. Fine. No prerequisite is assumed from anybody at all. Graduates with no knowledge of Fusion ERP. So it's a it's scattering to a wide spectrum of audience actually. So as far as prerequisites concerned, this course assumes no prerequisites then from the participants. Every concept will be taught from grassroots. You know the level and depth of my training actually, fine. It will be taught. And then uh, the end date is not there at all. And even though I have shown that it will be four, four weeks, but uh, it will extend till uh, you are all com comfortable actually. However, a knowledge of EBIS will come handy in exploring the fusion applications to a greater depth. If you know EBIS, it will be great actually, but it is not a prerequisite for this course at all. So the biggest advantage is support. I will now add you to a past students group. <laughs> in Telegram, and then uh, you can even post your issues over there. Fine. Either me or somebody will now answer your questions. And if it is required, if it is not possible for me to answer a question in the Telegram group, I will now invite you to a Zoom call, and then I will now explain the problems, and then I will now address the issues actually. So it is not only a simple training support, but even it is after uh, training comfort completion support also. When you are working on the field, you are now uh, what was, uh, uh, getting a problem now. I will now show you my group now. You will now see a lot of questions used to come from many of the participants actually. So if you go there, so in Nana, I got two groups one is the past students and then one is the EBIS. So I will now add you to the past students group as well as the other group also. So here uh, you will now find a lot of people asking so many questions. <clears throat> so here, uh, this was a question asked by somebody, and uh, uh, OM Dumps and all the time. He has now answered for the like, exam. So uh, whether we can use the VVCs or not, he has asked for it. And then uh, one of the students has answered with this one. So likewise, you will be getting a lot of support. Around 400 members are there in the group. And so you will be getting a lot of support. And then uh, my students used to share instances and then I'll be sharing it over here so that you can type the instance you know, username and the password. And then uh, there are hundreds of users available here through which you uh, can very well uh, practice the concepts also. So you get plenty of support over here now. Right? So by which you will know, you will not left lonely yet. And that is why. So there will be always be somebody uh, by your side to help you. So uh, we will now give you instance. They are now sharing with me time and again, and then I will be what I'm saying, helping you out. So the duration is what, 24th September on weekends only on India time. So it is on Saturdays and Sundays only. <clears throat> and it's for a four week duration. And then the timing is what, in time, 5 p.m. to 9.15 p.m. It is slightly lengthy, but in fact, what happens, I wanted to complete a majority of the topics. The biggest disadvantage of this is what the instance are getting refreshed very fast, actually. So at least one weekend, I will be able to complete one lump sum of topics. That is why I have not kept a longer period, actually. So it's for it will be covered in three sessions, actually. And we will now have a session from 5 to 15. Afterwards, we will now have a 15 minutes coffee break. And then afterwards, 6.30 to 7.45. Again, for after every 75 minutes, we'll be getting a break now from 8 to 9.15 p.m. So there are three sessions in a day on Saturdays and Sundays. Fine. 5 p.m. becomes very early in uh, West Coast, actually. It will be maybe 3.30 a.m. actually. And then uh, 9.15 is very late in Australia. Fine. So these are all the problems, but uh, we can't find a uh, time throughout the globe now. Fine. One time matching it. Because I'm expecting around 100 participants to join. And then we'll be having a very healthy interaction also. Fine. So because the course fee is low, and so what happens, you'll be finding plenty of people coming over there. 
So every session will be recorded in the, and then we upload in the Google Drive. Okay. So you can make a payment by clicking on this link. Now. You click on it. It is a payment gateway actually. You go there, you go over there. It is an international payment gateway. You can put your name, email and then phone number and then make a payment. You can pay via credit card or debit card or UPA fine, as far as India is concerned. If you're outside uh, India, then uh, it will accept even uh, the credit and debit cards of uh, international credit and debit cards are accepted actually, provided it has got a two-factor authorization. So that is the only thing. So for this one, <coughs> you'll be having this one. <coughs> so you have to have a two-factor authorization for this one. <coughs> so uh, it accepts a two-factor authorization right, for outside India. And then if you're still unable to use your cards, if you're outside India, you can, uh, what happens, uh, you can, after the payment, you can send it now. Right? So you can even contact me for a PayPal payment. And right? PayPal also is accepted. And I will not accept PayPal. So we can even accept it. <laughs> so one of the messages you can do it. <coughs> So this is my YouTube channel. You can even go on and watch plenty of promotional videos that are uploaded here now. You can even check my quality as well. So this is how the inventory worksheet looks like now. Fine. So I will be creating what yeah, locations and then it was the legal jurisdictions, legal interest, legal authority, legal entity, and all that. And then it will now go on and then I will now be creating a skeleton financial structures. I will be creating a chart of accounts and then I will be deploying it. And, all that. and then after that format is over, uh, we will be creating the primary ledger and then after the business unit, fine, everything is now created. Afterwards, I will not perform this assigned business and business function. Then afterwards, I will now create one job, one department and one position because we are going to push it into purchasing also. Fine. So for uh, whatever the transfer order, I will be pushing it into whatever the, or rather the min-max planning will be pushed into purchasing for which what happens, I will be creating a bare minimum one and on purchasing basically. And then the rules which I am going to add now. And then afterwards, it will not go on then. It will not create the inventory, uh, what happens, the setups now. So once when the setup on inventory is complete, I will be teaching you about the costing setups also. Right? The costing setups, I will be teaching it from an inventory perspective. Right? Uh, I will now teach all the four costing methods actually. Right? There's one is a average cost, one is a standard cost, one is the first in, first out cost. Right? Everything will be taught to you in this training. So you can even learn those things from that. So then afterwards, item creation, and then afterwards, all these things will be pushing the costing and then I will now put in the costing transactions also. But you won't be learning a lot beyond that now. Fine, in the purchasing, you will be learning about uh, the reconciliation, fine? the accrual reconciliation of things. Fine, we won't be going into the depth of thing. Fine? So one of the uh, setups will be going into fine? anyhow. Uh, the three methods are available here: fine? the standard costing, the average costing, and then the first in first out costing. Fine? <clears throat> fine, the actual cost we call it. So okay, fine. All these things will be taught over here now. Then afterwards, we'll now have a basic procurement setups, and then once when these setups are completed, we'll be jumping into controls. We will now see the serial control, lot control, revision control, locator control, and then metal status control. There are five controls of that. And then afterwards, the transfers point. We'll be having an account LS transfers, transfer transaction source and types, everything that first, submit and transfers. And then the moment request is a very big topic, and then that will be covered. And then afterwards, the uh, ITD is also covered. Then afterwards, intro transfers, direct main transfer. So once when the metal transfers are completed, then we'll go to the replenishment point with that. So the min max setup will be done fine with that. I'll be showing all these things on this no fine. Then afterwards, uh, uh, we will be learning about the RSR, fine, the release sequence rule, the big flip grouping rule, and then the release rule in the e-business. I will not be showing it in the e-business, but I will be directly demonstrating it in Fusion itself, fine. Uh, I'll be doing it. Then all these things will be done. <coughs> then the PP movement request, everything, ship confirmation, and then visit of materials and destination R. So the min-max planning for a supply sourcing, for a sub-inventory sourcing, and then for a inter-sub inventory sourcing also is done. Then I come into the inventory accuracy of ABC analysis, cyclic counting, and physical inventory. And that's what we'll learn about the fundamentals of inventory. Right? So, the fundamentals of inventory. so to, to finally complete it, what happens, I'll be showing you the PO receiving. So receiving from a PO's perspective. Then even though the purchase orders will not be con contacted in this training. Right? So I am expecting a four weeks duration, but uh, if uh, the discussions and other things ex is extending beyond what happens, it may even go to five weeks also, <clears throat> or even six weeks also. It all depends upon the interaction. Right? So ultimate idea is what? You must have a very strong foundation on the inventory. So that is guaranteed by this training actually. <clears throat> so you can find out. Right? So you'll be definitely be uh, doing it. And then if you are, especially if you are jumping into uh, what happens, uh, fusion, and then if you know only EBS, then you're not aware of fusion, then this is a very good starting point for you. Right? So with this starting point, you will definitely be learning a lot on this. Right? So you can even have, uh, what happens, uh, communicate this information of my website, oraclenana.com slash INV, right? slash INV is the one. So if you go on and communicate, it. so you can even communicate your friends so that it will be very useful for them. Right? So it is 24th September. <clears throat> so uh, just almost a week's time, I think, in India. <clears throat> so that is how it's going to start.
so with this i conclude my introduction into this training now and so let us hope to see you soon in the training as well <laughs> so you will be given a zoom link to join and then you can join and then you can watch and then every day evening we will be uploading all the three sessions into the google drive and then you can download them and then you can watch them uh, it will be given uh, instances also to practice so that what i want to uh the four to five weeks time it will be of very great useful for useless usefulness for you it is a very uh, very uh, nominal cost actually and you won't find at this much of a, at a such a small price you won't be finding it so that is why i am expecting around 100 students to participate actually <clears throat> so you will be having a healthy interaction with uh, even the experienced guys fine they will also be sometimes what happens i may not be knowing everything and somebody will do, teach me also in the in the training actually so it's a basically a good knowledge sharing <clears throat> as far as the thing is concerned it will not be a simple monologue it will be a dialogue and then i i i allow people to what happens uh, share their knowledge their implementation knowledge experience etc etc so with this what happens i conclude my intro session on this uh, fusion inventory training bye for now <laughs>